Welcome back, you glorious people of the interwebs, to Animal Crossing New Horizons. We're back playing this wonderful game, and we're working on getting... Look at Godzilla over there. It looks so awesome coming up on it on the horizon. It's the best thing ever. It's perfect. Um, so yeah, we're going to be making the Godzilla flower garden because we need to get our island to three stars. We finally got enough people on the island to upgrade it to a two-star island. And if we get it to three stars, that means we're going to unlock the terraforming tool. So that is our goal today. We're slowly been moving new people into the island, and it's looking really good. So for those of you that don't know, to get your island to two stars, you do need to get more people moved into your island first. Uh, so that's going to be something that you have to focus on. You'll unlock that through Tom Nook. We got another one trying to move in here. And I could have swore, I don't know where the newest person is living right now. Maybe I didn't put one up there like I thought I did. But regardless, we're going to be making an awesome uh, flower garden in the um, with Godzilla. And we're going to sacrifice all the stupid bass that we catch to this wonderfully terrifying statue, I guess. It breathes fire at some point. I don't know when it does that. We also have a really nice metal bridge here that I put. When we unlock the terraforming tool, I'm going to terraform this down. And then we got to spend like 50,000 bells to move. Uh, the bridge down to like right here, but I wanted to get the bridge made at least so I could get to the other side easily um, And then we're gonna have to flatten this out as well But pretty much the we're gonna have two different parts one with a fountain and one with the Godzilla And I think it's gonna look really nice and it should allow us to fully Complete our garden. Excuse me, ma'am. You are in the way and I would like you to move, please uh, Excuse me. Thank you So what we're gonna do Oh, God, if I could dig holes correctly, that would be fantastic. Daisy, for the love of God, you are in the way. Move! Be gone! Go somewhere else! No! Please! Okay, so I think I've got a pretty good plan to make this work. You're going to be able to walk around uh, the Godzilla structure like that. And then where these bits are, where the holes are dug, is going to be where the actual flowers are. Then we'll have, like, benches and stuff for you to sit at. A, a bass sacrificial, sacrificial, sacrificial area. Oh, my God, sacrificial. Yeah, we got that bass sacrificial area, you know. Oh, my goodness. All right, so the garden looks a little bit like a mess right now. It definitely looks like a Godzilla garden at the moment. But eventually, it'll not look like a Godzilla garden, and we'll all be really, really happy. The thing is, we have to actually... I want to start growing hybrid flowers here as well. So we've left a lot of gaps for hybrid flowers to be able to grow. And I'm just kind of getting figured out where we're going to put the road and everything, or walkway, or whatever you want to call it, which we can't actually put in until we get the terraforming tool. So I'm just trying to fill it up with enough decorations right now, and kind of get the general idea of what we want for this really nice garden. And then we'll actually be able to create it once we get the terraforming tool. So I think we're pretty close to level three. I do have to probably start doing stuff on the other side, though. And we also have to clear a ton of weeds. There are so many weeds everywhere. <laughs> I was right. We got that three star rating, which is going to finally allow us to terraform. We've needed it so, so badly. Oh, snap. Tom Nook's freaking out. I, who is KS? Is that KK? It's Trickery is afoot, I believe. Ah, KK Slider. That's why. So it would be KS. Perfect. This should be where Tom Nook is like, yo, do some more work for me while I do nothing. Oh, my goodness. Look how that's the happiest I have ever seen Tom, Tom Nook. He got KK Slider to finally join us on our island. Oh, snap. Here it is. This is the goal we've been waiting for this entire time. We apparently need to get some KK Slider album so I can put it into my little album machine. Album machine. My retro stereo. I'm dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Oh my goodness. I think he's got a new song called Welcome Horizons. Cutscene. What? What's happening? Oh, dude, the song is popping. Wait, it's over? What? I didn't realize that was the end of the story. Oh, goodness. 
Oh yes, finally. Tom Nook has given us the app to edit the island. It's a Christmas miracle. And also, KK is coming every Saturday to play us some music, which is awesome. We can finally use the Island Designer app, which means we can actually make our garden the way we want it to, finally. Oh my god. Waterscaping permit, cliff construction permit, arched tile path permit. Oh, nice. So we've got to spend all of these nook miles on different types of pathing termits. Per termits? Oh my god. Pathing permits! Which is kind of unfortunate, because I need the... The cliff construction permit, I think? Which is 6,000 nook miles. So the path creator, it's a, it's a little complicated, so you can't put things close to objects. But what you can do is you can place the object after you place the path, and then it'll be able to be placed, which is kind of nice. It's kind of a shame that you can't like place the object and then do pathing too. Uh, but regardless, our little um, garden here, it's, it's shaping up. I really want our flowers here to start making some flower babies. And I just need 6,000 more nook miles. I gotta go pick like a bajillion weeds. I need like 1,200 more weeds and I gotta sell those bad boys. And then I think the next one, well actually I'm honestly just trying to get the watering one. It should give me like 3,000 nook miles. And I've only gotta water like 200 more flowers. So we're like right there. So another great way to make nook miles is to set up plots of land. I actually kind of really want to have a ramp that goes up here once we level this out a little bit. Um, so maybe having like a house right here might look nice next to the waterfall. Have it a nice fancy house. So the real question is, can we fit it in here? If I can figure out how to get in my inventory. There we go. Oh yeah, no, that's not gonna, that ain't gonna fly. But maybe, maybe right to boot here? Oh, it would be so nice. And then the, the walkway would look good. But it's too close to the cliff. I'm telling you what. 6,000 miles is expensive to do all this arduous labor forever. But uh, we're finally getting it looking good. So that's, that's nice. But the sad part is I need another 6,000 nook miles before I can actually uh, fill in parts of the water, I think. Which is kind of unfortunate because I need to fill in this spot so I can finish. So we got some problems, but hopefully, actually, I don't even know if we can edit waterways when we get the six that would when we get six thousand more credits. But I guess we'll find out. I was gonna work on kind of beautifying the area a little bit, making things a little bit smoother and a little bit better for setting up housing. What? Oh my god. Well, getting these last six thousand miles has been it absolute pain and then i know i wanted to say i wanted to make the the garden even bigger with the like a large fountain or something like that but then i realized that i need to spend nook miles to buy the drinking fountain before i can even craft the big fountain because apparently you need to turn the drinking fountain into a big fountain and i still need <laughs> 250 so let's see here oh you know what we could go talk to residents real quick that should be easy oh uh, residents Come here, let me lock you in my basement. Ah, that's much better. We can finally make all of our rivers not look like hammered booty. At first, when I first dug into it, like, to try and fill in the, the, the water, it just, like, dug out more, and I was like, oh my god, can I not fill in these rivers? I almost had, like, the tiniest of heart attacks. I do kind of think that maybe a different fence would look better. But we do have it to where we can actually finish everything off and make it look nice, which is really good. We can put our stairs here, which is going to cost a metric buttload. Um, and then we just really need to get more flowers in here. Sweet baby Jesus, I finally got enough more... Enough more? <laughs> enough nook miles to finally uh, get an upgraded path so that we can make everything look a little bit better. I really like this terracotta tile, but at the same time, I really like the stone path. So I'm kind of torn between which ones I want to do. We got the brick and the, the arch tile path also seems kind of nice, but I feel like the stone path permit might be the best one for us right now. So we're going to do this and kind of try and make our city slash town slash crazy island look a little bit better. One thing I find very strange is apparently you can't connect two different path types. 
which I don't really get. Like, if you wanted to have, like, one of these stone paths and then kind of connect to, like, a dirt, like, path through the woods or something like that, you wouldn't be able to do it without having a gap. I find that just a tad bit strange. But otherwise, our garden's coming together. I, I really do like this, um... The stone path. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do no, oh, God, no. <laughs> it's a disaster. Um, I do like the stone paths. We're going to fill this in. We've got this nice little swingy chair up here. Uh, so you can look at the crazy Godzilla dude. We got a water pump. I can't put something in this gap. It's frustrating, but I think I actually have some other things to place around here. You know what I'll do? I'm going to put a bird. Can I put a bird house there? Hold the phone. Hold up. Let's see here. One birdhouse, please. You... You gotta be kidding me. Come on. You know you want to go there, birdhouse. Not the clay, not the clay. The birdhouse. Get back in that corner, you dirty little birdhouse. You stupid birdhouse. I want to fill something in that corner and make it look a little bit better. Oh my god. I caught the demon goat worshipping its lord and savior, Godzilla. I think she likes the, uh... The garden here, though, it's not soup. So I realized that I had plans to, like, decorate around the uh, Godzilla. But then I realized, like, if I tried to do that, Godzilla is so beefy. It's, got, it's the it's the chunkiest Godzilla ever. And so I was like, oh, I'll put some freaking, I'll put some tiki torches down here. But then your character, like, the, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need to put that away. We did get a hybrid flower, though. It looks pretty nice. Ex excuse me. See... You have to, like, hop around. There we go. But maybe we can, like, squeeze this bad boy back here. Shazam! So that one actually works well. That was not a... <laughs> Look! She's worshipping it! She made it spit fire! And then her demon eyes activated! Oh, God! It's terrifying! So that Tiki Torch actually actually worked well. Um, But this one, you'll see... Freaking Godzilla's ginormous hooves feet things. So you can't walk past it. But we can squeeze it on this way like that. And then... Oh my god. No, come back. Baby, come back. Stop! Just do it once! Thank you. It does like this little hop. Hop! <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. But I think I might still add the tiki torches. But regardless, things are going pretty well. I need to move this still. I need to move it down, and then we need to get more Nook Miles to continue our garden over here. Uh, but we did get this blue hybrid Cosmos flower, which is really nice. And I've kind of just been spreading in flowers as they as they propagate. I'm trying to get more of the hybrids in here. I'm really trying to make a blue rose and haven't had any luck with that so far. Um, but yeah, I mean, our garden is looking pretty darn good. We had a lot of work to do to get this, like, especially farming up all the nook miles and stuff like that for, for both the terraforming tools and the path tool. But regardless, I do hope you all enjoyed it. In the next episode, we're going to be getting the final upgrade to our house. We're probably going to turn it into a dungeon and lock the bad, <laughs> the bad neighbors in there and see if we can get them kicked out of our village. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the support on the series. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.